we've had a bit of a um, funny old harvest and finally we've seen it come in in the last few days and they've cleared the fields but a lot of fields were left half cut and that really is a, an absolute pain in the backside when you're foxing because the foxes are sort of in and out of the, the crops all the time and it's very difficult to call foxes out of the crops as well sometimes so you, know, you, you ideally want everything off in one go if you can so you certainly don't want to see a Brazilian out there um, but hopefully tonight now everything is out, everything is off um, it should be all nice and smooth, so we should be able to get out there and find quite a few. Okay, so we've just arrived in the first field, and although I want to get on the crop fields, we're just passing some sheep fields that are normally quite productive, so it would be rude not to uh, just have a bit of a squeak and a try on here first. Dom's going to start the nice off, so he's going to be in pole position for shooting, I'm going to be in the truck and do a bit of squeaking and do the lamping. Nice little dog. So we had a squeak at the first down and we had no visitors and we drove into the next field here and just picked up a set of eyes right by the side of um, a flock of sheep there and he was just tucked in through the fence so he held long enough there so we could just come round on him and position ourselves so we had a, a good safe backstop because we've got the bank rising up straight behind him in here and Dom did a, a great job there and uh, opened his account up so I think we'll let him shoot for a little bit longer. So uh, it would be unfair pulling him off now. I'll let him play with my toys a bit more. But no, and that's um, a fair size. <laughs> Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair size dog fox. So as I say, hopefully it will be the first of a few for tonight. Had many large ones recently. I've had many large ones. <laughs> now in answer to David's question, we haven't had a lot of massive foxes recently. We've had a few adults um, in dispersed with the cubs that we've been shooting. Um, but uh, there has been a, a lot of cubs this year. I think it's been a bit of a bumper year, but as I say, with the sporadic um, harvest this year, it, it's been a, a bit troublesome to try and get onto the, the ground and get everything cleared. And obviously now, because the farmers are a little bit behind, I think they're going to be doing a, a lot of work on the fields and, um, and trying to play catch up. So uh, we've got a very small window of opportunity to get out. I think we've probably got a week or two, and then I think we'll see a lot of the stubbles being ploughed back in and uh, the work continues. Well, that was definitely a hard fought night just for a, a brace of foxes. I don't know if it was because at the beginning of the night it was incredibly still, there wasn't a breath of wind. Um, and so, you know, the, uh, the foxes were fully aware of what was going on because they could hear the truck coming, they could hear everything that we were doing and all the, the movement in there because there was no wind to cover up our, any of our sounds. So that may have been a reason why everything was absolutely on its toes when we arrived. Um, but yeah, at least we got a, a couple of responses at the end. No, it's just a shame. It was a, a much longer night just to end up with a brace of foxes, but a brace is better than nothing. <laughs>